Hello, uh, welcome to this video on single view vision processes. So in this video, we're going to um, we're going to set up a visioning routine so that the uh, robot will be asked to look for a, a particular object. And uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to be using this washer, and uh, not just any washer. This washer also has a little green dot in it, and so uh, we'll be uh, asking the uh, camera to look for this particular washer. And uh, in this process, uh, one thing's gonna come up, uh, one of the uh, variables that will come up, it will be exposure. And uh, we're gonna leave it at its default, uh, but uh, as we've talked about in class, it really, in the, for visioning processes, uh, it really is all about uh, lighting. Uh, manufacturers go out of the way to create ideal lighting conditions they may use filters on their camera, they use different types of lighting coming from different angles until they can achieve the right lighting for their situation to achieve what they need to have done. Alright, so uh, first we're going to start by uh, setting up the, uh, the process. We're going to teach the robot what to look for and then we'll have a look for that. Okay, to create a visioning process, we'll go to the main menu, select 8 for IR vision, and then under type we're going to select the third option which is vision process tools and we're going to create a new process so select F2 create and then we need to give our process a name uh, we'll leave it at the 2D single vision process and uh, we'll select a name and uh, we could just call it we'll just call it vision and we could put a comment in there but um, I'm not going to I'm just going to select OK to close this dialog window and I'm going to edit that process alright so uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is to select the camera calibration that we created earlier. So we'll bring down the drop menu here. And uh, we'll select Demo 23. And uh, the camera will already be selected. Uh, that would be the camera we use for the calibration. And under the tree, so select Tree. Uh, 2D single view vision process should be highlighted and uh, we're going to select a calibration so you needed to have had a calibration already created we'll select the one that we did earlier demo 23 and uh, the camera will automatically be selected because well that was the camera we used to do this calibration and um, then the next thing to do then is to select GPM locator tool There was a need to mask uh, the uh, uh, something on the part. So for right now, I mean, you know, I've had that dot on the uh, washer, and uh, it's looking for a washer with that dot hanging on it. And uh, if I didn't want it to consider that, I just wanted it to look for washers, I would mask that out. And I would use the uh, G edit tool, so the uh, geometry edit tool, and then uh, I could. I could go ahead and use one of the masking tools and uh, mask out that uh, any part of this uh, washer that I didn't want it. And, uh, but I'm, I'm going to leave it the way I have it, so I'm just going to uh, select OK and add it this one. Okay, so back at the uh, main window, uh, and I'm going to go to the, I'm going to hit next, and I'm going to select snap and find. So that now it's going to snap a picture and look for this washer. And uh, when we uh, 
look at the results, uh, we'll see that uh, it did in fact uh, find that picture. And, um, you know, the score was like 97%, which was, you know, was really pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and, and I should mention that uh, the score of 97%, uh, it's good because, well, one, I haven't really moved the object since I taught it. So the lighting conditions is pretty much the same. But even so, there was some variation. Um, and uh, the score, the threshold score that I used when I, I created this uh, editing routine, I mean, when I edited this uh, process, uh, I left the score at 70%. So it's looking for anything that scores 70% or better. So basically, I'm just looking for anything that's uh, washer shade times its size. Um, so if I uh, needed it to look a little more closely than that, I'd have to change that, that threshold. So for instance, if I uh, take some other washers and I, uh, I set them on this uh, picture, this uh, 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 table here, and then I select uh, Snap and Find again, it's looking and it found uh, you know, it's not found four instances of, uh, of washers um, that were the same, uh, same as the uh, object of this top. But uh, let's say I wanted it to uh, really narrow down and uh, narrow down its, its uh, uh, search. And so uh, one of the things you notice is that the score for the washers without the dots are about 83 and a half. So, um, and, and as you can see, so I needed it to look for washers uh, that have those dots. I would go to the uh, score threshold and change that number to say 90%, and uh, hit enter, and then uh, go ahead and uh, do a snap and find uh, for this. Uh, and now it's looking, and it's only found one instance, so which is what I would expect. So that's basically uh, what we go through to uh, create a, uh, a simple uh, single view um, uh, process, visioning process. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about how to create a program based on uh, a single view uh, vision process. All right, thanks for watching.